required sample size. The required sample size tells us how many observations we need to evaluate our fictitious microcredit program. Suppose that the theory of chain predicts that this microcredit increases total household expenditures in the short run. We expect the program to affect many other variables, but we have chosen total household expenditures as the main outcome variable. If I do a summary of the total expenditures using this baseline data, the average expenditure is around 3,800 taka, and the standard deviation is about 1,600. Remember that Stata holds in memory some results right after executing a command. To see what's in memory, I say return list, and I can see that the average expenditures is under the name rmean and the standard deviation under the name rsd. Let me save those two values using macros. The local mean zero, the mean outcome, will be equal to rmean, and the local macro sd0 will be equal to the standard deviation rsd. Those two values represent my expectations of the mean outcome and the standard deviation in the control group once the program is implemented. The zero in the name reminds me that in the control group, the assignment variable t equals zero. The power calculation also requires the expected mean of the treatment group after the program is implemented. I call this macro mean one. This is equal to the mean of the control group, mean zero, plus the minimum program impact that I'm willing to detect. For example, 600 taka. How did I come up with this number? I took into account the amount of credit, previous results from similar microcredit program, and my general expectations about the program. If after the evaluation I fail to detect the program impact, there are two potential reasons. One, the program has no effect on household expenditures in the short run or two, the effect is smaller than 600 taka. The command to calculate the required sample size is called sum psi. The arguments are the expected mean in the control group, mean zero, the expected mean in the treatment group, mean one, and the mandatory option, the standard deviation of the control group, SD zero. You cannot run the command without this option. Execute. And the output is quite clear. The sample size required to compare two groups of the same size is almost 320 households, 160 in the treatment and 160 in the control group. Here is the default significance level or size of the test, that's 5%, that is sort of standard. This is the probability of concluding that the program has an effect when it does not. This is a probability of being wrong. I want that probability to be small, 5% is fine. The default power in Stata is 90%. There is 90% probability to conclude that there is an effect when in fact there is one. We want that number to be large, as close to one as possible. But there is a trade-off. The higher the power of an evaluation, the larger the required sample size. I will say that the reasonable power for an evaluation is 80%. So let me add the option power to our command to adjust to 0.8, 80%. Those are the arguments that we gave ourselves as inputs for the function, the mean outcome in the control group, the mean outcome in the treatment group, the standard deviation that we assume to be the same on both groups. N2 over N1 is the ratio of the observation in the treatment group over the control group. One means that they have the same size. One is the ratio that maximizes the power of the evaluation, although this is not always possible. You can go to Stata Help to explore how to change the default assumption and how to add other options to this command. I execute this again to adjust for the power to 80% and I can conclude that given the assumptions above, we need 119 observations in the treatment group and 119 observations in the control group to detect a minimum program impact of 600 taka in the total household expenditures.